So that Heidi has 26,000 kilometers on it. You can see it's it's got a few little cracks. I can't really see them too easily. I've got a picture there. I'm going to replace it with this one I just picked up for 40 bucks. It's got tits, tits right up to there. This one has no tits anywhere except the way out to there. I'll get a lot of kilometers out of this one yet, easily to match my rear. Because I'll easily get the summer out of this one, out of this rear Heidi. It's got, well, geez, damn near a quarter of an inch on some. So what I've done is put a jack under there and rift it a little bit. I got a center stand, and that gives me that kind of clearance there. I can get even a little bit more. The tire's barely touching. So I have. Okay, that advantage. If you don't have the standard stand, you, I've done it before with just a block of wood or a block of rubber underneath the engine. But that's tricky. And often what I'll do then is come off the roof here with a couple of straps to the handlebars. As far as tools go, we've got the 12 mil for that. We've got this uh, Jet Allen. It says it's an H12 for that. And then we got a 14 for taking off the brakes here, and the brakes I'm going to just hang up with a bungee off of the rad guard or something, and that should come right out. This is pretty simple. So both brakes are out of the way. Pretty much it. I'm a little off the ground here, so I will catch the tire. Put my hand under it. You can see this. This squiggles out. It's very and on the other side, it's got the same thing. Okay, they're not exactly the same. But that's all there is. There's no washers or anything or cones or whatever like the back. This one's a little bit different looking. Hope you can see that. And but they basically just pop right off. There's no just that's it. They're like the washer, the cone, everything put together. That's just for your looks like for your ABS. Now, it's supposed to come out easily. Let's see what it does. Or have I made a faux pas? No, it's... Now, see, I can cheat because I can still get even just a little bit more out of the jack. And that's it. I'll tell you, if you don't have the... Oops, careful. Careful, dear. I'll hang those up, actually. I'm a little paranoid there. Just going to mount the tire, put it back on the bike in the reverse order I took everything off. I'll probably just film that and uh, put it in fast speed. Definitely a bit of work taking the tire off. The tire that's been on a rim for 26,000 K seems to be somewhat melted on. This hiding, this hiding that we're taking off um, had a mushroom plug put in it with a tube and it was like that well over 12,000 kilometers. So there goes the old theory of some people don't run a front tire with the plug in it. I didn't know that. I rode it for a couple thousand K. He put 12 to 15,000 kilometers on this tire after it had 10,000 on it already. Put the plug in it and now it's 26,000 and not an issue. Tremendously well wearing. Okay guys, uh, goes back. It's a pretty simple project really. I guess if you're new, I've been running the thousand for a couple years and well it's four years now with the 650 in the yard included of uh, taking things on and off v-throms so it's really pretty simple just make sure you got the bike secured before you because once the tire is off if there's no sander stand or anything you're they're tough enough to ride with two tires with one tire there I guess it'd be a unit motorcycle so 
That's, uh, and I, you can see I balanced it. I just used the metal. I tried to put the diamond beads back in, but Jesus, they are a bag to put in. I tried the air hose and everything, and and it was a little bit light. I was under a little under two ounces anyway, so I said, the hell with that. I just did the old school system. I have my own little, I just put a, I have a little two by four stand I, I put up and put that on, and my God, it works perfectly. Just use that and the bearings that are naturally in the tire, uh, and uh, it, it went really well. A couple little weights. Uh, so that's ready to go. I'm ready to ride. And just as a footnote, um, again, be sure to subscribe because I'm I'm getting close. But the 1.2 million is well. I might only have to live to be 349 instead of 350. These Karoos I'm saving for this fall for when we get up north. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you gotta like the look at those. Uh, I want to stud them in November, December. If I have my way. Of course, the unforeseen can always get in the way. If I have my way, I'll be studying those and riding around the suburbs of Whitehorse. Oh, yeah, baby. At minus 20 degrees. Cool. Okay, thanks for coming out again. Hope this little tire video helps somebody, especially for you, for you uh, new people, guys and gals. Love to see all the ladies ride, and it's so cool, including my wife, who, uh, I know I got things hanging off of her bike. I've always got something hanging off some bike. Again, thanks for coming out, guys, and uh, that's the old front tire change. Good luck.